Would you like to step inside the home of a minimalist? Well, now you can. You can take a video tour of my family home and Ryan's home over at theminimalists.com slash resources. The Minimalists. <laughs> my kitchen counters are the one thing that always get cluttered. And seeing that mess stresses me out. I love cooking. It's one of my great joys in life, but that means I have a lot of tools, appliances, fruits and veggies, ferments and sprouts on my counters. <laughs> I know minimizing would help. Oh, man. But I'm not sure what I'd get rid of now. Any okay. tips for keeping organized? Well, that's the first problem. So um, don't confuse organizing with simplifying. In fact, organizing often complicates our life mm. the word compli complicate means to complex mm -hmm. which is to interweave mm -hmm. two or more things together and what does organizing do it puts all these things it interweaves all of these these things that we're holding on to into a nice bin or basket or a little tray or whatever it is mm. right yeah now yeah well it's it's like the plant situation i was talking about in the uh minimal episode it's like, because uh, here are things that obviously add value to her life. Um, if she wants to sprout and ferment and freeze or freeze dry, whatever it is, uh, uh, if you want to do those things, it's going to take up some space. Mm -hmm. And you have to decide whether or not you're willing to give up that space in your home for those items. Just like with the plants, like we have, we have some plants at home. Um, we, I think, I feel like we have an appropriate amount, but now I've got these like tomato plants and the Serrano plants. I'm going to go ahead and like do all the work put into it, but it's going to make my balcony a little bit more cluttered, but because of the fruits, the literal fruits I'm going to get from these plants, uh, I'm going to go ahead and allow them to take up a little bit of space. So that's, that's the decision. Now, if like it, if it's bothering me constantly, then we'll get rid of the plants. Uh, yeah. So I mean, yeah. I think there's a middle ground too. And, and let me let me say what we do with our. So our counters are exceptionally clean. Anytime mm -hmm. you come over, I have I literally have four things on our counter. Mm -hmm. We have a hot water kettle. Mm -hmm. We have a coffee grinder. Yeah. We have a scale mm -hmm. that that weighs coffee, and they're all right next to each other. Now all th now so th there's something here about all three of those things are beautiful. They cost a little bit more than if you were buy the, the really cheap versions, mm. but they're beautiful, so they look good on the counter. Yeah, and we also have a paper towel holder, right? Now, if I lived by myself, I would probably have none of those things even on the counters. Mm. I I would store those, right? And the drawers cabinets whatever because out of sight out of mind i but because i live with a family we've decided these are the four things that we have out on the counter everything else we do the work of storing it after the fact right like the instapot you have yes it's out while it's being used exactly when it's not being used you put it away right it's not on top of the counter our yeah. blender we have a blender it's not on top of the counter yeah we have several other appliances that you would generally just store on top of the counter so the rule that i hear you making for yourself is if there's not room in the cabinets for it then there's not room on the counter for it yes yeah, yeah. And, and then there's not room in my house for it basically yeah. and and so let me just point this out my wife is a registered dietitian and a nutritionist she cooks twice a day right it's not like well we just eat out at every meal no no no, no. she she cooks all the time mm -hmm. it's just we're willing we you have to be willing to do the work it's it's more work to bring out the instapot out of the cabinet and we don't i mean you've seen our kitchen it's tiny yeah we have a small kitchen right but what we do is we put in the work to store the things appropriately, bring them out when we need them. Mm -hmm. Is it a slight hassle? Yes, but it's less of a hassle than if they were there mm -hmm. bothering me every moment of every day in my kitchen. This is a great point because if you all lived in like a studio apartment, mm -hmm. you'd probably have less stuff. So that's a question that I forget who the name of this person asking it, but she Teresa. Needs, Teresa, she needs to ask herself like, okay, how much room do you have in your place the everything that you just mentioned is that appropriate for the size of your kitchen yeah um and then have more the things you're going to have on your counters if you're sprouting and all this other stuff get the things that are aesthetically pleasing to you it doesn't have to be aesthetically pleasing to other people but the things that you enjoy the most so they bother you less 
the fact that they're on your counters. Yeah. You, you have a, a really beautiful uh, water kettle and like having that out, if it was really ugly, if you had this bright orange and red mismatched, you'd be like, oh God, why do I have this on the counter? Mm. But it's less obtrusive because in a way it's sort of like a work of art, right? Yeah. Sure. And yeah. so, so if you think about it that way, you can have things that are, that are photo worthy, art worthy uh, pieces of useful things on your counters as well.